Kia ora. Well, we've certainly had a very interesting week, haven't we? And I certainly have, and not just because of the, the new alert levels for the coronavirus epidemic. At the start of this week, I had the opportunity to go away with the diocesan priests in our diocese for a short assembly. These are the priests who belong to the diocese rather than to a specific religious order. There were about 50 of us at the assembly and we had a wonderful experience just being together. One of the things that was very striking was our cultural diversity, which in many ways reflects the cultural diversity that makes up the church in this Diocese of Auckland now. We have priests who were born in New Zealand, naturally, but we also, as you will know, have many priests who were born elsewhere in the Philippines, in India, in the Pacific Islands, Hong Kong, Korea, Africa. I think every continent is represented as a place of birth for the priests of the diocese. And we come with a great diversity of backgrounds. One of my brother priests was talking about growing up in the crucible of fighting apartheid in South Africa and how that gave him such a burning commitment to justice and to fairness. Another from India comes from a parish that is over 1,000 years old and has produced countless missionaries and priests and religious uh, during the course of its long history. Another, another of our priests was born of New Zealand parents but born in Rome in the church that's associated with the great apostles Peter and Paul that has existed since the, the first century. So we were very conscious of this rich diversity of backgrounds. And in one lovely e experience, we each shared the names, we spoke aloud the names of our parents, our mother and our father. And it was a way of acknowledging those who have gone before us in faith, those who shared their faith with us. And as you will know, in many cases that is our parents, but it might have been a friend, it might have been some saint who inspired us early in our lives. It could be anyone, but it's, it's lovely at times just to reflect on those who cared enough for us to share their faith with us. During another part of the assembly, we had the opportunity to talk to one another about what had inspired us to sense this call to serve as priests and to share also what still keeps that passion alive in our hearts, that desire to serve our Lord and his church as priests. So we had this wonderful experience together, the priests of our diocese, and then it was back to our parishes on Wednesday to find that we were in alert level three in Auckland City and alert level two in other parts of the diocese and in the rest of the country. It was like back to reality. But Pope Francis, when he talks about these interferences in our lives that come in from left field and really disrupt and make very uncomfortable our day-to-day -day way of life, Pope Francis sometimes suggests to us that we look upon these disruptions as gifts of the Holy Spirit, as gifts of the Holy Spirit sent to us 
to prompt us to a conversion of heart. What I think Pope Francis means is that sometimes these massive disruptions that we're experiencing at present and that we experienced earlier this year, sometimes these disruptions can actually be turned into things of value for us and may prompt us to reflect on the preciousness of human life and in our situation on the gift of faith. So perhaps during these very inconvenient days, it might be a nice exercise for us all to reflect on those who shared their faith with us. If you're Catholic now, why is that? Someone cared enough to share that faith with you and with me. Try to remember those who have nourished your faith, my faith. Give thanks for the example of their lives. And let's perhaps reflect on our own lives too, on how we in turn can share this gift now with others, even as we journey through these rather rough, um, stormy seas of the uh, raised alert levels in this global pandemic. They're challenging times, but it's lovely to remember that God walks with us. May God bless you always.